floor. Thank you, Mr. President, dear colleagues. I'm pleased to be the rapporteur of this important uh, dossier. It's rather strange to greet you in that manner, remotely having hybrid meeting due to the coronavirus, but there is also another side of the pandemic. Although we were all aware of the fact that air pollution is still the largest environmental health risk in the EU, it remained an invisible killer, as it is often called. However, air pollution is responsible for nearly 500,000 uh, premature deaths, that is 10 times the toll of road traffic accidents each year, linked to respiratory and cardiovascular diseases, strokes and cancer, and also has significant adverse effects on the climate, ecosystems, the built environment, including cultural heritage and the economy. But during uh, curfews, traffic, industrial production and other ways of life were significantly stopped or reduced uh, and citizens could experience a healthier environment with less noise and better air quality. There is now stronger support for building life back better and greener. Clean air policy has greater relevance. So the opinion for vote today contains some new elements referring to COVID-19. Let me cite uh, some other points. The Committee of the Regions appreciates the work being done by member states, organizations and various EU institutions to assess the situation and search for possible further responses. Especially welcomes the European Green Deal proposed by the new European Commission and its action plan for air, water and soil to be adopted next year. The COR agrees that current rules on monitoring provide a good basis for obtaining comparable, reliable air quality measurement data. However, monitoring systems designated by individual member states should be further harmonised and also supports the European Commission's announcement to propose to more closely align air quality standards with the World Health Organization's guidelines. We emphasize the need to focus more on emission regulation as a better way of achieving cleaner by reducing emissions at source. And I'm highlighting the need for cross-sectoral cooperation and coherence of relevant policy areas. Measures should address all sources of air pollution, sectors of transport, energy, including domestic heating, agriculture, industry, in an integrated way, while taking into account other relevant areas, such as climate change or health. I'm also highlighting the need for close and more effective cooperation and communication between different national, regional and local levels of government. Regional authorities could play a coordinating role between the local and national level, and cooperation should, should be extended to companies, scientific bodies and other relevant stakeholders, as well as the general public. In the draft opinion, we recommend providing easily accessible air quality funding for local authorities and accredited air quality associations responsible for drafting and implementation of air quality plans and for real-time air quality monitoring. We also recommend engaging citizens and informing the general public about both problems and improvements that demonstrate the potential positive outcomes of action. Citizens should be involved more closely in decision-making during development of air quality plans and measures from the earlier stage. Finally, in the draft text, uh, we draw attention to the need to coordinate and manage the relevant networks, initiatives, tools and guidance, which are already a source of broad knowledge and experience and which would help LRAs to improve their work and achieve cleaner air based on additional technical expertise and guidance. Before the final voting now, there are 15 additional proposals and four rapporteurs once. I'd like to highlight one pending topic, the presence of nuclear energy in point 30. From air pollution point of view, uh, it do have a place in the energy mix, and I do support it. But I understand that there are specific aspects against it. As a compromise, we formulated Rapporteur's Amendment number 15, which contains both nuclear and renewable energy.
I hope uh, you can show solidarity for those countries which transitionally should rely on nuclear energy instead of fuel foss uh, fossil fuel-based alternatives of energy production and vote uh, for Rapporteur's Amendment 15 this time as well. Thank you for your attention.